hello so i want this video to be a very quick video and in this video i'm just going to show you how to use the web speech api with javascript okay so the api we'll be using is speech recognition api so if you look at mdn documentation we have all the methods but the method i want to focus on is just the speech recognition constructor and the language language property um the continuous property and the interim result property and we're also going to be looking at the start and stop method so there are other methods you can explore if you want to but i just want to show you how you can um say something and the browser is going to acute whatever you say okay so as far to browser compatibility um you can see that it's supported for Chrome Edge, not supported for Firefox, both for desktop and Android. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and open Visual Studio Code, and I already have my HTML boilerplate already, so I just have this H1 with uh, speech recognition, then paragraph to output whatever we're going to say, and I have this start and stop button, then. I'm also linking to my app.js file which I have here. So this file is empty and we're going to type everything from scratch. So the first thing I want to do is to bring in all my um, variables. So I just want to select all these um, buttons and the paragraph from the DOM. So I'll start by selecting the paragraph. So I'm going to say const output. And I'm going to use document dot get element by id not get animations <clears throat> get element by id and it has an id of um, output so output so i'm going to select the start button to start i'm also going to use document dot get element by id and it has an id of start So to save time, I'm just going to copy this and change this to stop. To stop. All right. So this is all we want for from our HTML. So the first thing we need to do is to um, store the web speech API, the um, speech recognition API in a variable. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to say const speech recognition. So speech recognition. And I'm going to set it to window dot speech um, recognition. So window dot speech recognition or so for WebKit um based browsers like safari and other versions of chrome we have to um, use webkit for this so we are going to say window dot webkit so once webkit um fish fish recognition Okay, so after doing this, this is going to be a constructor. So we are going to instantiate this constructor. So I'll just go ahead and instantiate this constructor. So I'm going to say recognition. So recognition. And I'm going to set this to new speech recognition. Okay. So how are we going to listen for uh, for um, incoming speech? So how are we going to process speech? So you need to call um, the start method for the browser to start listening for incoming speech. So I'm going to add an event listener to the start button and we're going to call um, the recognition.start method inside um, that event listener. So I'm going to say start dot 
add event listing now and we want to add a click event so i'm going to add a click event and i'm just going to to pass in a callback so i'm going to pass in a callback and i'm going to say recognition so recognition dot start and i just want to log in my console um recognition recognition started so i'm going to save this and let's go to our browser and so we are getting an error here that says speech recognition is not a constructor so let's check that out so um okay so that's because this is supposed to be capital letter so i'm going to change this to s okay so save and that error is gone so if i click start notice this red circle at the top of um the browser tab and it's saying this tab is using your uh, microphone so if i click it again you see it appears and we get recognition started okay so we want to output um what we are getting from the browser so there's a method called on result so on result whatever um we get from the browser we can output it using that um using this method so i'm going to say recognition recognition dot on result on result and i'm just going to set this to an arrow function so this is going to take in an event so i'm just going to log the event so i'm just going to log e so we see what we get so if I click start speaking and I so immediately I just say something, you see it logs an object in the console. So if we check the result, so result, so you see the result is an array. If we open it, we are going to see um so there are some things we are supposed to specify before um listening for this on result event so one of the things we have to specify is the language so i'm going to say recognition dot lang and i'm going to set this to english so en then we also want to um, um we also want to set the interim so i talked about so i'm just going to go to the mdn documentation this um recognition dot interim results and this controls so like so this is going to control whether you want um the results to to be outputted when it's not completed so we are going to set this to false because we want the complete result okay so i'm going to say recognition dot interim interim result and i'm just going to look at the documentation again to make sure i'm the interim results so results and i'm going to set this to false so the next thing we want to do is to set the recognition continuous and this is going to determine if um we are going to continuously process speech okay so if you want the browser to, to stop processing speech after um, um the person stops speaking you are going to set this property to false but for me i want it to continue processing speech so i'm going to set it to true so i'm going to say recognition recognition dot continuous um continuous it's supposed to be a u here and i'm going to set this to true okay so if i save so let's try it one more time so i'm going to click start speaking hello so immediately i said hello you notice that um it's logged an object in the console 
So I'm going to check the results. So for now, I'm just going to change this to false. So let's change this to false. So we don't have to continue processing um, the incoming speech. So I'm just going to reload. Well, I just want to make sure I save this. So reload. So if I click start speaking. So you see, immediately I stopped speaking, the browser stopped recording, uh, stopped using the microphone, and it's going to stop um, processing speech. So you no longer see that red circle at the top of the browser. So I'm going to check the results. So results and was supposed to see. So I'm just going to reload and try this again. Hello. Okay, yeah. So the transcript. So we get hello. Okay, so whatever we say is going to be in this um, transcript. So I want this output here, this paragraph, to output whatever is in the transcript. So to do that, we are going to say. Um, I just want to keep logging this. So we're going to say um, output dot text content. And we're going to set this to e dot results. So results. And so I'm going to set this to, so I'm not going to share the object again. So you see, we have is a nested array. So results is an array. And inside the results we have another array inside here so we are going to say zero zero dot transcript so i'm just going to look at it to so transcript no s so transcript and save okay so let's try this out so i'm going to click start speaking Hello. So you see, we say speaking hello. Okay. So I want this to continuously process um, speech. So I'm going to change this to false. Um, sorry. So I'm going to change this recognition dot continuous to true. So I want to change this to true. So if I click, hello, my name is Levi. So you get hello, my name is Levi. But you notice that even when I talk, it keeps on outputting hello, my name is Levi. So to better understand what I'm saying, I'm going to append the results to the text content text content. So if I if I reload hello. My name. So you see, when I say my name, it keeps on giving me hello. And that is because if we check this an array, and it's going to keep on pushing new value to the array. So this is like a list. So if we check, we are going to see um, something different here. So you see, we have inside the results array, we now have zero one. So in, as I continue to speak, it's going to push a um, new array inside this result array. So we need to look for a way to assess the last, the last array. So to do that, instead of passing zero here, we are going to pass in e dot results dot length. So we want the length, and we are going to minus one from it so to get the last array. So if I save, and I'm just going to click start speaking and say something. Hello. My name is Levi. So you should get hello, my name is Levi. Okay. So I don't want this to be appending. I want it to replace every word. So it's going to overwrite any um, text content in this output. 
So I'm going to save this and hello. My name is Levi. So you see it's working. <laughs> All right, so I just want to do a quick video about this. So you can use this for so many things. So let's say you you want to add speech recognition to your website and you can do a lot of things with this you can even um use this to do some really cool stuff i i can't really think of anything to tell you for now but i believe you can use this for so many things this speech recognition all right guys so i just want to um show you how to do this and i'm going to see you next time in another video